you're you're on this high business is growing you get slammed you know covid shuts everything down you're like oh, do we lose everything what's happening here and then just a few days later right this this tornado hit which i'm sure was devastating for the community and you know had widespread ramifications for everybody so that's you know obviously everybody's you know feeling the chaos of that but you get this call and you start taking on this business and then you said you hired 14 people what was that like from being a two person show and then <laughs> Just shaking yeah. his head right now. Uh, and then having to hire 14 people. And now all of a sudden, you know, you go from, you know, just being you guys and being rock star sheet folders to having to find and hire and train and manage 14 people, you know, all happening in real time while you're processing this laundry. So like how, how'd you guys do, how'd you find, let's start here. How did you find uh, employees that quickly and that many? We we reached out to our friends and family and just said, here's the deal. We need people, you know, and so who do you know that needs work? And most of them were wives with husbands who were told because of COVID. Um, and one of them was actually um, one of my best friends, her husband, their business was shut down and he was just going kind of crazy. That. So he came out as, yeah, as a second driver, he went, actually, he himself went and rented a minivan so he could do pickup and delivery on one side of town and Shane could do it on the other and um, brought everybody in and had group classes quick, quick. This is how we're going to fold. This is how we're going to do it. And and that kind of part of the story was um, when they first called, they said, well, we're going to give you pass. And we're going to give the other half to a local dry cleaner. And I said, I didn't think they did laundry. And they said, they don't, but they're going to do it for us. So that was on Friday. We said, okay, that's fine. It was still, you know, it was 15 hotels. And so we had to pick it all up, bring it over, process it, take it all back. And that was on Friday. And Sunday morning, they called back and they said, we love what you're doing. You're so organized. Everything's great. Not so much with the other guy. Would you take on all of it? And I called my crew, talked to him and said, okay, here we go. And kept everybody employed for the next eight weeks that were unemployed otherwise 